Mark, tell me about the causes of chronic pancreatitis in children and in teenagers. Well, I think that recent uh, research from multiple pediatric centers working together to try and understand this disease, it's relatively rare in children, uh, has given us some insight into that answer, whereas uh, 10 years ago, we had much less insight. Um, the most common causes break down to genetic causes and obstructive causes. By obstructive, I mean uh, patients can be born with uh, abnormalities of the tubes or ducts that are in the pancreas or lead from uh, the liver into the pancreas. Uh, there are other types of obstructions that can occur that are usually things that kids are born with. And identifying those is important. Um, generally, they can be treated. But we now know that probably two-thirds or more of children have uh, genetic risk factors for developing chronic pancreatitis. And these are changes in specific genes um, that increase risk uh, for developing chronic pancreatitis. Now, none of them are really causative. They just mean that you have more risk. And by that, we know that there are people who have these same changes in the same genes, but never get chronic pancreatitis, but some do. And we don't fully understand why some children with these genetic risk factors develop chronic pancreatitis and some don't. We think that there are probably other genes that may play a role. It's possible that there are things in the in environment uh, that may be important. And there are now ongoing studies so that in the near future, I think we'll understand some of these uh, modifying factors much better. And that may uh, lead to novel therapies that can help us uh, treat children. What about if children have both a genetic cause or genetic factor uh, as well as some anatomic or problem in the duct system? Are those children any different? I think that's a very good question and I, it's one that I don't think has been fully answered. Um, the, and the problem is what I mentioned before is that we know that there are people who have these same changes in their genes who don't have any problems. And some of them are fairly common. So several percent of people in the population may have these changes and not that many have problems with their pancreas. And so there's also a chance that having a, um, an obstructive factor and a genetic factor together uh, may uh, just be coincidental. There's some evidence in adults that have um, a particular type of uh, anatomic variant called pancreas divisum which is an anomaly of the way the, the ducts or the tubes in your pancreas form and have mutations in specific genes may have even increased risk. The data we have available in children suggests that's not the case for children. So I think that's still an open question.